Hi guys, Lori here from Vancouver Island and back to doing some more painting today. And I was just going to show you a couple of finished pieces. They're not quite finished, but they're they're like done and dry, right? Um, and I don't know if I did a video on this one, but um, check it out. It's kind of dark and stormy, but I think that it will it will make a beautiful trivet. And these are like these are just shelf board. Right, um, we had some shelves that we were no longer using, and I had my husband, my sweet husband, um, cut them into chunks for me, and that's mostly what I've been painting on so far, which has been great for experimenting. Here's another, there's a bloom that I did. I think I have a video on this one. I'll look for it and see if I can't link it. But all I've done is seal these now with a, with a coat of high gloss Mod Podge, and then I will resin them. And then after they're resined, I will spray them with the engine paint. And I haven't tested it yet, but other people have. And supposedly it's going to make my trivets um, work. Uh, it's going to make them heat resistant so I can pull something out of the oven. I know the resin is good for cups because I tested it myself. I think I did that back in... Oh, I don't know, like like video number 24 or something. I'll look for that, too. Anyway, today I have a canvas, an actual canvas. And so I've taped off the back, and I've got my stick pins in it. And it's small. It's only still only 8x8. Eight eight. I do have some larger canvases, though. And I think I might be ready to graduate to them with the Dutch pour technique anyway, or the kind of, well, I guess it's not really a bloom, although I am using a, um, a cell activator that I mixed up and the recipe is going to be in the description down there. And then the colors I'm using, I'm using greens today because I'm still using my bronze. And so the other color it said to mix it with is, um, teals and greens and so I've got phthalo green I have a sap green but I really don't care for it um, so I'll probably end up mixing that with a blue sometime to make a nice turquoise so I'm just going to use four colors I have phthalo green viridian monostrol and light and then I of course have my bronze so I'll be using that and then I have my um, what I'm calling a cell activator um, and I have some white paint and I have some house paint. And so anyway, my house paint is just full of bubbles because I just stirred in some more, sat for a few days and thickened up. So, um, I'll show you on the other camera, the consistency. So anyway, I'm going to switch cameras over and uh, thank you for coming by. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, I really do appreciate it. I know I've got more subscribers. Yay. I think I'm up to 58 um, as of today, and I'm out begging for them, so if you share my videos, that would be fabulous, or just tell your friends to subscribe. I don't even care if they watch. <laughs> I just want subscribers. It would be great, of course, if they do watch. Um, I'm learning lots, and I hope that I'm having, well, I hope that I'm having, I know that I'm having fun, so I hope that you're having fun, too. So let's get to pouring paint. <laughs> okay, so I have my white paint down and I have gotten all my edges with white paint and then I got green all over my gloves, so I'm glad I don't have to touch it now. Anyway, as usual, I'm going to go dark to light and I'm going to put my bronze in the middle. So we will, um, and then I'm going to blow it out with my blow dryer and then I'll come back and we'll chit chat a little bit more. Enjoy the tunes. <laughs>
Okay, so <laughs> that is fabulous. Uh, there's a couple little areas right here I'm not super fond of and maybe right here a little bit where I'm going to come in with my little mini blower. Just a little bit. But yeah, I was able to get some really nice wispiness with my blow dryer this time. So I'm actually quite pleased with just the way it is. Um, hmm. Let's go a little bit here. Just a little. And a little bit from this side. I'm just not liking that huge, big. I like the white, right? But. Um, that one's just a little bit big, so I just kind of want to fill it up a touch. Okay, and I'm going to torch it, and then I'm going to play with... I love that these are so quick, right? I can do several of them, and I will be doing several in um, one video. So, yay for Saturday. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to, like I said, fix my edges and give it a few minutes to see what it does, and I'll be back. So, there you have it. I haven't really done anything with it. I, um, I touched up the edges with some white, and oh my gosh, look at the beautiful, beautiful colors. Those greens are just gorgeous, and that copper... Look at just the touches of copper, or copper, bronze, sorry, bronze. Yeah, look at that. Now, I didn't get many cells. Um, my cell activator, um, put that in quotes, doesn't seem to be working beyond the first night I used it. Um, it, it, uh, it really gave me some really big cells, regardless of what paint I used. Um, but since then, like you can see... You can see in here, I've got a few little tiny ones popping up. Um, I suppose I could stretch those out, but I don't even want to stretch this because it's so beautiful. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I'm super excited at how this turned out. I think I'm going to throw a couple of coasters together. So I'll be right back.
trying to get these without too much of a glare in there. So here is that beautiful painting that this is actually on an 8x8 canvas. Um, it's just a canvas. It's not a fancy schmancy <laughs> or gallery wrap three inch canvas. It's just a, it's just a, you can see it's still wet too, right? But anyway, it turned out beautifully and I did a set of coasters using the same colors and they also turned out beautifully. So thank you for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye now.